It's moved into our Sunday. We're still seeing mostly cloudy skies. We've seen a few passing showers move across the area. Since midnight, you notice temperatures haven't moved a whole lot. 73 has been the warmest temperature. That was right around midnight. We've only dropped off to around 71. So with the clouds around, that's helping to keep those temperatures from really moving a whole lot. The average is today 80 and 58. So you notice once again, we're starting off well above average in terms of that morning low. The afternoon high, we're going to be pretty close to 80 degrees. As it looks like temperatures are going to warm into the upper 70s to around 80 here in northeast Oklahoma. Much warmer though for far southeast Oklahoma. Some locations mid to upper 80s down in southeast Oklahoma later on today. But you notice the record's 99 and 42. Obviously, as we move through the fall season, we can see those big fluctuations in temperature. So you notice those records. It can get still get very hot this time of year, and it can also get quite cool. Let's take a look at Storm Shield radar. All night long, we've been tracking showers and thunderstorms just off to our west. We've seen a few passing showers here in the Tulsa area, but the heaviest of the rainfall has been out to our west. In fact, around Lot and also Wichita Falls, Texas, we've had some flooding issues during the overnight hours. Just some light rain, though, falling across much of central and into parts of eastern Oklahoma, especially west of Highway 75 seeing some of this rain this morning. As we move into southern Kansas, again, the heaviest of the activity is running from around the Verdigris area in Kansas, extending back to around Lafayette and Cedarville. But this is lifting off to the north, so if you live in Independence, at least at this time, also Coffeeville, you're not really seeing much in the way of any rainfall. As it is moving to the north, we are seeing it trying to work a little bit farther to the east, so we could see a few of these showers make it into Independence and Coffeeville over the next hour or two. As we drop into northern Oklahoma, areas of Osage County, back into Pawnee County, from Pahuska to Hominy, back to Pawnee, seeing some light to a occasionally moderate rainfall and even some light showery weather here in the Tulsa area at this time. You notice out to the west, so a little bit heavier from just northwest of Bristow, extending back into sections of western Oak Fusky County. And then as we drop south of Interstate 40, still the heaviest of the rain, still to the west of Highway 75, generally around 8, extending over to around the Kanawha area. And also Holdenville seeing some light showers at this time. Hey, you notice every once in a while we like to show you some views from other parts of the country. Here's a nice little time lapse down in Miami, Florida this morning. This is an unbelievable camera. This is on the Marlin Stadium as we're looking off to the east. And again, look at those thunderstorms developing there on the coast. Just an awesome shot there just off the coast in Miami, Florida. So they're dealing with a chance for some rain and thunderstorms. And so are we. 72 degrees right now with a few passing showers here in the city and a light northeast wind of three. Temperatures in the metro, upper 60s and lower 70s for you. So at least temperature wise, not bad, but still quite humid out there. And that'll stay with us right on through the rest of today, even though the cold front will pass on through. As it moves on through, we'll see those humidity levels start to drop off with the drier air working in, especially later on tonight and into the day tomorrow. Upper 60s, low 70s across most areas of eastern Oklahoma, so a pleasant start out there. And temperatures right now compared to the same time yesterday morning, running anywhere from about 1 to maybe 4 degrees cooler here in eastern Oklahoma. You notice out to the west, we're seeing temperatures as much as 7 degrees cooler this morning in Watonga compared to the same time yesterday morning. Well, that cold front across central Kansas, extending back into the Oklahoma and Texas panhandle, you can see that line right there. That's where the cold front is. In advance of it, it's warm. 60s and 70s all the way up to the Great Lakes. Behind it, we drop back into the 50s, 40s, even the 30s in some of the higher elevations. Casper, Wyoming at 37. Right now, Durango, Colorado at 38 degrees. So on future track, here's what we expect. There's the showers and isolated storms out to our west. As we move through the morning hours, looks like the heaviest rainfall will stay just to the west of the Tulsa area. But as this cold front moves in during the late morning, midday, early afternoon hours, there's a chance we could see showers and some additional thunderstorms storms developing on this cold front. So that chance for rain and thunderstorms will continue here in northeast Oklahoma for the rest of the morning into the afternoon hours. As the cold front passes, we're going to see winds shift around to the north at 10 to 20 miles per hour, a little bit gusty, and we'll still see a chance for showers and some thunderstorms around through the afternoon into the evening hours. But you notice as we move into the evening and overnight future track, trying to push most of the activity into southeastern Oklahoma, we'll see clouds around for a time overnight. But you notice by 7 a.m. already starting to clear out from Tulsa to the northwest. Still some lingering cloudiness from Muskogee to the south and east tomorrow morning, but those clouds will move on out and we'll see sunny skies across all areas for tomorrow. So a great looking day for your Monday. Here's a look at highs today. Generally in the 70s, northeast Oklahoma, around 80 degrees though in Tahlequah and Muskogee. Chance of showers and storms. Much warmer far southeast Oklahoma. You notice Poto at 88 degrees the high for today. Cold front moves on through tonight. North winds 10 to 15. A cool night ahead with temperatures dropping into the 50s most areas. Still some low to mid 60s though in southeast Oklahoma. Tomorrow, beautiful day. Sunshine 75 degrees. Degrees, low humidities and a north breeze 49 for Tuesday morning. Yep, have to find the jacket as we move into Tuesday morning. 78 on Tuesday afternoon with sunshine, low 80s on Wednesday. Then a reinforcing shot of some slightly cooler air back on Thursday and Friday drops us back in the 70s and back to 81. So the first day of the Tulsa State Fair coming up Thursday will looking good with lots of sunshine and temperatures upper 70s. Yeah, that is going to be so nice. No complaints whatsoever. It's going to be 
Amazing. Yeah, after the toasty conditions we've seen over the last week or two, finally going to see some cooler temperatures this week. Finally. All right. Thank you, Taft. Tesla added a feature to the